Mm. Good day, everybody. Welcome back to my indoor garden. So, I just wanted to give you guys an update on how things are doing here inside. I haven't shown you guys uh, in uh, quite a few weeks as far as how these guys are doing. Obviously, I've had to reposition uh, as things grew taller, move the light up and down, move the plants around. Um, you'll notice uh, that uh, right beside me here, the banana plant is not here. It's still doing very well. Um, it did, as I was walking by one day, I happened to notice a little bit of uh, webbing, kind of like a spider webbing. Yeah, spider mites, um, not any fun. So maybe it's because it was right in the doorway here. Maybe having my grow room right in the, uh, the doorway isn't such a great idea. But uh, I noticed it pretty early off because I am constantly looking at, admiring, and just soaking in everything. I can tell you everything about each and every one of these plants. So the banana plant, I I had bought in this 360 sprayer. Let me just show you guys this because this is this is pretty cool. I mean, you, you've probably seen one of these before, but this little nozzle goes any which way. And uh, spider mites, uh, from what I understand, are a soft-bodied insect, not hard to kill. Um, if you know the life cycle of the insect, then you've got a better chance of getting rid of it. So you might uh, search that on your YouTube, how to get rid of spider mites. Um, mostly the uh, medicinal um, herbal growers know how to get rid of spider mites the best. Those guys are so smart. I mean, <laughs> obviously they're making good money and they got to know their stuff, right? So, uh, I don't know if this solution is proven or effective at killing spider mites, but I used what I had. I didn't go out and buy anything uh, except for the 360 sprayer, which I, I had several weeks before the uh, spider mite incident. But this in here is essentially water. Um, I do use baking soda to fight uh, fungi and stuff like that so maybe a quarter teaspoon of baking soda in here uh, a little bit of soap it's best if you use organic uh, soap and uh, a little uh, maybe a half teaspoon or so of uh, hydrogen peroxide spider mites being a soft body insect you can almost kill them with warm water and uh, if you know the, the life cycle, how long it takes the eggs to hatch, and uh, how long it takes them to get to adulthood before they start laying more eggs, you're going to be more successful at fighting spider mites. So I sprayed down the, the banana, and I sprayed down all of these plants, of course, because if, uh, if you miss any spider mites, as you know, it's pretty devastating. They can just keep coming back, and by the time you notice them, it might be too late. So, um, I sprayed every two to three days, sprayed my banana plant with this, and uh, it's doing very well. You know, I'll show you in the uh, next clip how the banana plant's doing. Uh, I don't know that I've totally eradicated the spider mites yet. If, uh, if you have any thoughts on whether or not this is going to work or not, let me know. But so far, it's been doing the trick. Here's the banana plant. You can see it's put out a new leaf. I've cut off the lower leaves. And it's just got a uh, new leaf coming up. Doing very well. I've got it in a south-facing window here. It's nighttime, of course, so it's closed. It's got a humidifier. Spider mites don't like humidifiers. Uh, and plus my sinuses do like humidifiers. There's the kitty cat. Hi kitty kitty.
Anyways, I'm going to bring you guys in up close, show you the uh, indoor garden. All right, welcome back, everybody. Here we are. So, the pepper plants are doing very well. I've got banana pepper, banana pepper, banana pepper. And as you can see, I've topped them all. And look closely. I topped this one first. So you can see all the little side shoots coming out. You can see this guy. Side shoots coming out. I topped him second. And topped him third, I think. But he's got all kinds of side shoots coming out. All right, so uh, what is that? Is that my uh, banana? Yeah, that's a banana. Okay. Oh, interesting fact about uh, cucumbers. I germinated cucumbers in, in the uh, enclosed Jiffy greenhouse. They actually germinated within like 24 hours. I had little guys that were yay high. Um, note that if you take them out of there and, uh, attempt to put them even in shade or under a, far away from a grow light, if you, if you attempt to do so without keeping the humidity in, they'll die. Yeah, I lost, uh, I lost two of them. And, uh, then I got the bright idea, hey, when this guy sprouts... I'll put a little greenhouse over him. Look how well he's doing. Here's the cucumber. It's very dry where I live, so there you have it. Cucumbers, especially when they're uh, little infants, uh, really need the humidity for sure. All right, so here's another banana. Boy, I've got all kinds of bananas here. Um, starting back here, chili. One of my chili peppers I ordered from China, been topped. It's growing all sorts of uh, side shoots. Another chili, just topped him this morning. Uh, the Cubanelle pepper I got from Ray, uh, from the Praxis uh, something something channel. Um, Cubanelle I haven't topped yet, but he'll be getting topped soon. And I did germinate some... Uh, extra tomatoes just in case uh, my my tomatoes freeze that I that I'm getting ready well as you've seen in my previous video I planted two outside already um, it's March 25th um, one survived in the mini greenhouse the other didn't so I have uh, others here's a giant Belgium doing very well very good in size another week or two he'll be ready to go out in the mini greenhouse to replace that uh giant belgium that you probably saw that uh took a dive on me all right now down below here of course the grow light system that i designed here installing these lights um here is my sweet red bell. There is one of my green, um, I don't know how to say it, green ishka or something. Uh, this is a fig tree. I, I purchased it bare root. And look already, it's got green growth. And up at the top there too. So, doing very well. There is my other little fig tree. Several leaves on him. Let's zoom in on the little tag. That's what he is. And my other green Ishka here. Probably not even saying that right, but look at all the growth. I got four of these fig trees bare root. And there's my other box car willy. In case the one out in the greenhouse uh, takes a dive, I got him in here ready to go. Oh, also I purchased uh, strawberry plants bare root, 10 of them, because uh, I saw a video from the Rustic Garden. 
and I bought uh, bare root strawberries, 10 in a pack, so I got four in here, six outside. I got four in the mini greenhouse. I got two in one of the other raised beds. They're bare roots, so, you know, bring on the freezing weather, whatever. Here is one of the other fig trees in that four pack of uh, bare root fig trees that I got, the green ishka whatever it is issue I can't I don't even know if I'm saying it right this one has yet to put on any green but I suspect let me see if I can zoom properly I suspect that that might be a green bud getting ready to go there I gave him the biggest pot and uh, hasn't done anything yet so I don't know that's what he gets for being selfish, I guess. So, sorry about the camera angles. I know I'm probably not the best with the camera. Um, again, in the back, I had um, my large pink ox heart plant, or what should have been large. Should have been as big as the, uh, the boxcar willy plant back here, because they were planted at the same time. Anyways, the uh, pink ox heart didn't do nearly as well, and it died. So I threw him out. I planted two more pink ox hearts. I got a pink ox pink ox heart here, or pink ox heart here, and a pink ox heart here. Um, we'll see how they do. They don't look very impressive. I suspect that the seeds that I got from whoever I got them from. Maybe they saved the seeds from a unripe tomato or uh, the smallest tomato that they grew. I don't know. I haven't had any luck with the pink ox heart seeds, which I'm very depressed about because I really want pink ox hearts this year. So uh, I'm going to let these guys do their thing and, and hopefully they grow okay. Um, anyways, yeah, I got a serrano pepper here. I saved that pepper seed from... Uh, a serrano pepper that I bought at Walmart got a beef steak just in case if uh, if I lose a beef steak I have that guy because I have the another beef steak right here and two additional uh, sweet red bell peppers here a lot of people think all oh, you, you know buying red yellow orange bell peppers whatever they're all the same it's not true yeah you can eat bell peppers green but some bell peppers are at their best ripeness depending on what stage they're at for the bell peppers who are at their best edible stage when they're green those are green bell peppers they may turn color you know but they're not necessarily the best at that color so when you get red yellow orange bell peppers that means those bell peppers are the best to eat when they reach that color. Um, anyways, do some research on it. Look it up. Yeah, I realize you can eat them when they're green. But you, keep in mind, you can buy red, yellow, orange. And, you know, you can have green bell peppers too. But that doesn't mean that they're, they're the best at that particular color. You buy red bell peppers, they're the best to eat when they get to that color. Here is the water hyacinth that uh, I purchased online. I'm sure it came out of a swamp somewhere, but uh, I need this water hyacinth for uh, helping to filter my pond. If you haven't seen my pond in other videos, I encourage you to check it out. All right. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, Boy, I put a lot of work into these guys as well as the outdoor garden. I realize that I'm not doing anything on the scale that a lot of other guys are doing. I work full time. Maybe other people do too, but I have a pretty busy life. I'm busy right now, but there's a lot of work that goes into this stuff. Um, you know, the one thing about having the seeds grow as many of these puppies as you can 
because you never know what will happen. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share.